This video is for the Scratch Project um, Assignment 1. First, what you're going to do is you're going to go to scratch.mit.edu and then you're going to click on Join Scratch. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to put in your username, which is going to be first initial, last name, and year of graduation. Um, and then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to type in your password two times and then click on Next. From here, you're gonna click on the drop down and then choose United States of America, click on next. And then you're going to put in your birth, month, and year, um, and then click on next. And then from here, you'll click on your gender, click on next. And then finally, you'll put in your email address and make sure that it's all spelled correctly. And then from here, what you'll do is you'll click on create your account and then click on get started then from here what you're going to do is you're going to click on create and then from here you're going to click up at the top where it says untitled and you're going to type in your name and your partner's name so um, then from here, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and click on um, the sprite down here and you can click on the trash can so that way you can choose your own sprite. Um, now you have a couple of different options. So you can either choose a sprite from the sprite library by clicking on choose a sprite and then you would simply click on the one that you want. Um, the other option is you could get one from Google. So for example, I'm just going to go ahead and type in um, SpongeBob SquarePants. And then from here, I'm going to click on images and then tools and then color and transparent. Um, so anyway, from there, what you can do is you can save an image that's transparent. Um, basically what you would do is you would two finger click on it and then do save image as, um, and then save it. So then from here, what you would do is if you wanted to add that image, um, you would go ahead and do choose a sprite and then the arrow right here, which would be upload sprite. And then you would be able to, um, choose the one that you just downloaded um, anyway so then from here what you're going to do is um, you can always resize it by typing in a different um, a different number here so like for example if I type in 50 maybe go even a little bit smaller than that but um, anyway that'll resize your um, your image so then from here what you're going to do is you're going to choose a background so you would do that by clicking on the choose a backdrop um, and then you can choose one. Your other option, of course, is um, you could do it in Google instead. Um, so for example, what I can do is I can type in like Krusty Krab and then get an image. Um, and again, I don't necessarily need to have it transparent, but um, anyway, I would do the same thing. So I would go ahead and save the image by clicking um, with two fingers on the touchpad and then saving it and then going into um, the backdrop and likewise you click on the arrow um, and then you would be able to um, choose the image that you just saved. Now if it's too small um, what you can do is you can use this tool right here um, you click and drag to draw a box around it and then you just drag it up to the top left corner and then use the handles at the bottom to resize it. Um, and we can kind of just move it like that, like that. And so then we kind of see how it looks um, once it's larger. Um, and then from here, what you're going to do is you're gonna click on your sprite that you added and you're gonna click on the code tab. So now that we have our sprite in our background, I'm gonna maybe just move my little sprite there. Um, you're going to click on control or I'm sorry, events rather, click on events, and then you're gonna click and drag the when flag clicked. Um, from here, what you're then going to do is you're gonna click on control and click and drag a forever block. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to 
click and drag an if block, which is right here, and that's gonna go inside the forever block. Um, and then actually we're gonna add a second one as well. So it's gonna look like forever, and then inside it we have if and if on top of each other. Um, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on sensing, and then you're gonna click and drag the key space pressed to go into the little um, hexagon spaces. Just like that, we're gonna change it to say if um, left arrow is pressed and if right arrow is pressed. Um, so then from here, what you're going to do is you're gonna click on motion and then you're going to click and drag the change X blocks to go inside the if blocks, just like that. Um, now, when you're looking at a coordinate grid, um, the smaller numbers are to the left. So we're gonna do left arrow is pressed, change X by minus 10 instead of positive 10. Um, so now from here, what should happen is if we click on the green flag and then you use the arrow keys, you should be able to move your character back and forth. And that's it.